Darren Wolfson of KSTP reports that the latest Twins free agent target is Alex Colome. Uh, was with the White Sox last year. He's been a closer for quite some time, so another piece of the bullpen. What's up? This is Tom Froming from TwinsDaily.com. We're going to talk about uh, this fit, my thoughts on it, and what the Twins are up to so far here. So as you can see here, Wolfson goes out of his way to say, you know, they're a long way from getting to the offer stage, but, you know, he's a guy they've confirmed they've contacted. So basically don't read too much into this, but uh, it's uh, it's a rumor, so we'll <laughs> we'll run with it. It's been extremely quiet still. I do think now that you know Christmas has passed, now that the New Year's passed, I bet you this week we're going to start to see some movement. Uh, but as you can see here at uh, MLB Trade Rumors, um, there's additional reporting from Robert Murray uh, that the Nationals, Red Sox, Astros, and White Sox have also expressed interest as well. So you know. We'll see what happens there with uh, Colome. And uh, let's take a look at this guy. This is um, a guy who was very successful for the White Sox last year with a one, excuse me, 0.81 ERA. Uh, doesn't get much better than that. However, uh, that came with a 17.8 strikeout percentage, incredibly low in this era in baseball. That's like Matt Guerrero, Juan Rincon type strikeout rate for, you know, back in, and that's back in the day. Um, so we'd really, really be turning back the strikeout clock here in column A. But again, he was successful with that, uh, that being the case, uh, along with that 0.81 ERA. Um, you know, his FIP was 2.97, so uh, not, uh, not, not crazy there. The ex-FIP not nearly as good as you would expect with the, with the lack of strikeouts. Uh, but let's get into, you know, what this might cost uh, the Twins on the free agent market. Column A, here's Fangraph's projection. They projected him to get a two-year seven, excuse me, seven million an average annual, so a two-year $14 million deal. Uh, and that was pretty close to the median crowdsource of two years, $16 million. Uh, but MLB Trade Rumors projected him to get a one-year $6 million deal. Now, if he's available at this price, I think that's going to be very attractive to the Twins. I'm not so sure that they'd be interested in him on a multi-year deal, but again, um, that's not inside information. That's just me speculating. And let's take a look at who this guy is. He's a cutter specialist now, essentially. He threw his cutter 71% of the time in 2020. It's a very good pitch. One more strike to get. Three in a row. Okay. And he mixes that in with a 94 mile per hour fastball in which he threw 29% of the time. As you can see here on these baseball savant sliders, lots of red. That's positive. Uh, does an incredible job at controlling contact. But again, look at the strikeouts. And it doesn't even come with an above average walk rate. He still walks quite a bit of guys for someone who basically doesn't strike out anybody. And let's end this on his uh, baseball reference page. And we can see here, you know, this is a guy, a former all-star, a guy who saved 37 and then 47 games for Tampa Bay in consecutive years. Actually, he struck out 11.3 per nine in 2016. So uh, just this kind of evolved as a pitcher to, to pitch more to contact. But, you know, as much as I want to see some more strikeouts out of him, you can't deny that the 3.04 ERA, 2.80 ERA, and 0.81 ERA over the past three years, I mean, the guy has done a good job at, at putting up zeros. But I do think kind of the where the Twins are at um, with Rodgers, with Duffy um, in the back end of the bullpen, they could use someone to kind of elevate the bullpen rather than the sort of a guy to help with the floor. So again, just swinging back to Wolfson's uh, reporting here on Twitter, just to, to sort of make, make sure to put it in his words, a long way to go to get to offer stage. Um, so in my opinion, and I think this is true of all the guys the twins have been linked to at this point, Marcus Semien, um, they're looking for guys they value who are available at one or maybe two year deals at this point. And, you know, I think their big moves, like they've done in the past, are going to come later in the offseason. Unfortunately, it feels like later this offseason is going to be even later than most offseasons, just with the lack of, of movement. Again, hopefully things break up and start to move this coming week. Uh, but I think the, the, the Twins are just hunting for guys that uh, are going to make sense for them, regardless of, you know, they sign right now, they sign later. They're, they're not going to, you know, basically they're looking for guys at the price that they want them at. 
Um, so that's why my speculation is that the Twins aren't going to go out of their way to get this guy on a two-year deal. Um, I think they would wait out the market to see if a similar relief pitcher is available on a two-year deal um, later on in the offseason. But if he's hanging out there at a one-year deal, sees the Twins as an attractive landing place, uh, it might happen. So again, slow offseason. We've had not a lot to work with, so uh, certainly worth discussing this one. This has been Tom. Thanks for checking this out. Uh, for more Twins Talk here on YouTube, please subs consider subscribing. And if you enjoyed this video, leave me a thumbs up, a like. We'll talk again soon. Thank you.